Hello everyone and welcome to my AEW Double or Nothing predictions. Oh boy, Double or Nothing's coming up this Sunday. Still not a fan of the Sunday shows. I think you should go back to Saturday shows, AEW, but I guess WWE has taken over the Saturday market now, so AEW has adopted the Sunday market. Which is funny because they did Sundays before to avoid like big UFC events and stuff and now there's like a game on the Sunday that's gonna run into the pay-per-view so well that didn't work out but anyway we're not here for that we're here for my predictions of who I think is going to win the predetermined wrestling match on Sunday so start off with the buy-in we have Hookhausen uh Hook and Danhausen versus Tony Nese and Smart Mark uh, I mean, it's Huckhausen all the way, I think. I don't think it's a bit... I don't think it's going to be a shocking... Uh, going to be a shocking take of me to take uh, Huckhausen in this matchup. Uh, but yeah, they're definitely winning. And uh, hopefully that ends this storyline and Hook can actually start to move on and do something else. Uh, I mean, I like this because, you know, it gives Tony Nee something to do. Um, which is great. But hopefully we can just end this here and then both Tony Nese and Hook can go and do something else. We then have for the TBS Championship, Jade Cargill versus Anna J. Uh, I believe Jade hasn't wrestled since she beat... Uh, oh my god. What's her name? Marina Shafir. I planked out there. I was going to say Serena Deep. I'm like, wait, no, that's not right. Uh, so I believe Jade is currently 30 and 0 right i don't think she's wrestled since i think she's just straight up 30 and 0 which i thought okay that means the next match jay cargo she's got her 30 and 0 streak that means she's gonna lose to whoever faces her next which is why they were put, putting off her wrestling but no she's just gonna face anna jay again um that's not what i would have done uh what i would have done is very easily you had her karoshita versus jade cargill right and for some reason, AW was stupid and did a dumb injury angle. Why not just have Karshi to beat Red Velvet at the uh, tournament thing? Then when Karshi is facing Ruby Soho, uh, the baddies and Jade get involved. That leads Ruby Soho to win. And then we can have Karshi versus Jade Cargill for the TBS title with Jade Cargill dropping the bell finally to now Karshi who can put on great matches on the weekly shows. But no. Anna Jay. Uh, Jay Cargill is going to get 31 and 0 now when she destroys Anna Jay. We have the House of Black versus Death Triangle. Now, this feud does feel like it's gone on a while, but that's mainly because Ray Fien got injured. Pac had to go back to England and get his visa sorted and all that. So it's it's been a bit bumpy ride, but we're finally here. The six man, hopefully ending this feud and we can do stuff with Julia Hart and the House of Black. Which I don't know why they didn't just pull the trigger on. Oh, whatever. <laughs> a lot of a lot of stuff I would have done differently, but I have the House of Black winning. Got to keep them strong, man. The House of Black. They could be doing so much more, and I can't wait for them to do more. Uh, next up we have. Uh, let's do this. Let's do the women's match. Thunder Rosa defends the AEW Women's Championship against Serena Deep. As much as I would love Serena Deep. Uh, to win, I sadly think Dunder Rosa is gonna win. I'm not the biggest Dunder Rosa fan. She, she doesn't do it for me. Uh, so I would love Serena Deeb to win, but I think sadly Dunder Rosa is gonna win, and I'm not happy about that. Uh, then we have the Hardy Boys versus the Young Max in a tag team match. This match is gonna be awesome. Potential match of the night contender, right here. Um. Who wins? Oh, this is a bit of a tough one, you know, um, of who would win. But you know what? I think I'm going to go with the Hardys. They've just, Jeff has just shown up. They've just gotten the Hardys together. 
the young bucks can take a loss and not it's not gonna hurt them so i'm gonna go with the hardies to win but i'm not a hundred percent i'm like 60 percent uh mjf versus wardlow uh it's wardlow this is wardlow's time he's gonna get free of mjf get that contract and wardlow's about to go and do big better things man <laughs> wardlow is about to it's about to be wardlow's time man i'm about to tell you that much it's about to be wardlow's time uh jungle boy and luchasaurus Jurassic express defend the aew tag team titles against team taz of oh my god okay i have to talk about this so on the wiki they fixed it now but on wikipedia ricky starks and powerhouse hobbs's names were changed so ricky starks was ricky stakes and powerhouse hobbs was porterhouse hobbs and i will now forever call them that um they fixed it now but i'm forever now will call them ricky stakes and porterhouse hobbs uh and Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland, who apparently their name, their name is Swerve in Our Glory. That's a stupid name, and I hate that tag team name. Uh, but anyway, Jurassic Express is winning this. They are not losing their belts here. Uh, I believe they will lose their belts hopefully soon and give it to to the Blackpool Combat Club or FTR. You yeah, know that'd be great. Uh, but when they lose their belts, Christian's gonna turn on Jungle Boy so da so damn fast. And Christian gets to turn heel and do something. Ah, oh, can't wait for that. But this match will be great. This match, if the if that triple threat yesterday on Dynamite proves anything, this match is gonna be great. Then we have Anarchy in the Arena, Jericho Appreciation Society versus the Blackpool Combat Club and LAX. Uh, I have Jericho Appreciation Society winning this. Uh, we're gonna do the whole can they coexist thing with the team babyface because I believe Eddie Kingston and Brian Dennis are gonna get into it. Mox is gonna be in the middle, but he will eventually side with Blackpool Combat Club. Tell Eddie Kingston to piss off, and we might get a little thing with Blackpool Combat Club with Eddie, uh, where they kick his head in and then uh, move on from there. But Jericho Appreciation Society is winning this. I love. To, I'm a wizard. It's great. The gimmick's great because Jericho genuinely thinks he's a wizard. That's what that's what makes this funny. Uh, we have the finals for the Owen Hart Cup. So for the women's, it's going to be Dr. Britt Baker versus either Ruby Soho or Chris Statlander. I think it's safe to say Ruby Soho is beating Chris Statlander on Rampage. So Britt Baker versus Ruby Soho. I have Britt Baker winning this. Uh, which also leads into the men's, which is going to be Samoa Joe versus Adam Cole. Adam Cole is winning this tournament. I said that from the very beginning, Adam Cole would win this tournament. And he's winning. So it's going to be Britt and Adam, the cup, power couple, each win a tournament. Uh, and then the main event, probably, is Hangman Adam Page defending the AEW title against CM Punk. I go, I've gone back and forth on who wins this. I was like, Hangman's going to win. Then I'm like, ah, they're probably going to give it to Punk. Uh, now I don't know. Uh, but for safety, I think I'm going to go with what majority thinks. Herd mentality. And um, CM Punk is going to become the new AEW world champion. But I would not be mad if Hangman retains and holds it longer. And that's it. That's my predictions for Double or Nothing. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this, man. I always look forward to AEW pay-per-views. Uh, because they're not a chore to watch like WWE ones. Which I don't really even watch anymore. So that's it. Let me get know your guys' predictions in the comments down below. And what match are you most looking forward to the most? I would say for me, the match I'm looking forward to the most is probably Hangman and Punk. Probably that one. Uh, and yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you all next time.